Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. We have a lot to talk about today, and first, I want to apologize to you guys for the late coverage. I was not feeling too well this weekend, but yesterday was the 2023 Legion Sports Fest, and it was won by none other than Charles Griffin. He is headed back to the Mr. Olympia. And in second place, we had John Jewett. Third place was Justin Rodriguez. And I want to give a huge shout out to Charles. As we all know, he tore his pick earlier this year. I was thinking that Charles was going to sit out the entire year and maybe we'll see him next year. But Charles actually messaged me personally and said, mark my words, I will be on the 2023 Olympia stage. And Charles keeps his word by winning the Legion Sports Fest and punching his ticket to the Mr. Olympia. And of course, Charles Pictor is definitely noticeable. I think it's very noticeable in the front double and the front leg. But outside of that, it isn't really noticeable in the rest of the shots. Now, in second place, we had John Jewett moving up from the 212 division. This was his open debut. And I didn't make any predictions, but going into this show, I was saying, John Jewett can definitely be in the top two, top three. You know, the show can come down to him and Charles. And John looks great. I really like the package that he brought to this show. I slightly prefer him a little bit more as a 212. I'll throw up an image and you guys can let me know what you think. But great showing from John Jewett. A few people thought that he should have won this show. And let's talk a little bit about third place Justin Rodriguez. Now, this was by no means the best version that Justin has brought to a stage, but I think this may be the best look in at least his last four or five shows. Justin Rodriguez was a very competitive bodybuilder about two years ago, placing top 80th at Olympia, top 10th at Olympia, but Justin started to do a lot of shows and his physique started to kind of go downhill. Justin did a lot of shows and honestly wasn't really improving over the course of those shows. He ended up shutting it down for a little bit and now we're here at the Legion Sports Fest after Justin has taken a little bit of time off. Unfortunately, I still think Justin needs to take more time off. He's just not as competitive as he was a year or two years ago. And I'm being this honest because I'm a big fan of this guy. Justin has a great physique. He beat Samson Dowda and Steve Kuklo at the 2022 Boston Pro. And I think Justin can possibly get back to that. I just think he needs to take a little bit of time off. But huge congratulations to Charles Griffin, John Jewett, and Justin Rodriguez. Well-deserved win for Charles. Now, this was the second call out. So from left to right, we have Eric Wood, Joel Thomas, Vitor Boff, and Max Charles. Vitor Boff actually ended up finishing in fourth place. Take a look at this guy in this side chest. But Eric Wood finished in fifth, Max Charles in sixth place, and Joel Thomas in seventh. Now, let's switch over to the Classic Physique Division, which was won by none other than Terrence Ruffin, getting his second pro win of the year. Second place on the right, we have Logan Franklin, the Texas Oak. And on the left, we have Darren. I will throw up his last name because I cannot pronounce it. But I think this was a well-deserved and decisive win for Terrence Ruffin. Terrence is on the hunt to get back into the top two with this year's Olympia. I think these pro shows are somewhat easy money to Terrence. No offense to the competition. I think Logan Franklin needs to hire a coach. I've seen Logan respond to multiple comments and say that he's not hiring a coach, but I think he needs a little bit of guidance. I know that he didn't really have the best relationship with Milos, but there are other coaches out there that could potentially fit him. But just my personal opinion. And let's switch over to the men's physique division from the Legion Sports Fest. Kyron Holden beat current reigning Olympia champion Aaron Banks at the Legion Sports Fest. Aaron Banks called out every single men's physique competitor. Also got the prize money raised at the show. Aaron wanted to do a warm-up show before winning his second Olympia title. But Kyron Holden sneaks in and gets the win. And what's interesting about this, Kyron was actually going to compete in the Classic Physique division at this show, but he did a show prior to this and he felt like his legs came down too much in size. So he ended up jumping into the Men's Physique division and he beat the reigning Olympia champion, also two-time Arnold Classic champion in Aaron Banks. And I've talked about Kyron a few times on the channel, but I'm very happy he went back to men's physique. I've always loved this guy's physique. I've always felt like he could potentially win the Olympia in men's physique. But I'm pretty sure after dethroning the champ, Kyron will stay in the men's physique division for at least a little while longer. We're less than four weeks out from the Mr. Olympia, and he just dethroned the champion. This guy can realistically win the Olympia this year. And huge shout out to Andre Ferguson, Lucky Libra on the left, who ended up taking third. 
I believe Andre has the most wins out of any men's physique competitor all time. But great show. I never expected Banks to get beat this soon. Now let's switch over to the Italian Olympus Pro, which was won by none other than Theo Lagreria, punching his ticket to the Mr. Olympia. In second place, we had Roman Fritz, who was already qualified. Roman is just stacking up chicks. Third place was Tim Budashim. And in fourth place, we had Vlad Afrachiriak. And in fifth place, we had Matthias Holwick. But congratulations once again to Theo. He is going back to the Mr. Olympia. Now let's switch over to some physique updates. I'm a little bit late covering this. This is an update of Brandon Curry at five weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. And as long as I've been covering bodybuilding, I've never seen Brandon Curry this condition at five weeks out from a show. And based off what I've been seeing in my comments and what I've been hearing on other channels, not a lot of people are expecting Brandon Curry to finish within their top three this year. Some people don't even have Brandon within the top five, but I'm not really looking at his physique updates too closely. I'm looking forward to seeing what Brandon is going to actually bring to the stage. It could definitely be something different this year. Now let's switch over to Andrew Jack, who recently posted up a training update. Andrew has been pretty quiet when it comes to physique updates, but I'm pretty sure we all can agree Andrew is probably going to move up from the 8th place spot this year. Big Rami is out of this year's Olympia, and Andrew already beat Hunter at the Texas Pro. So on paper, he should be placing somewhere around 5th or 6th, battling it out with Brandon Curry, maybe even Samson Dowda. But let me know in the comment section below, what are your expectations for Andrew Jack going into this year's Olympia? Can he find himself within that top 5? Now in the last story of the day, Unfortunately, Brett Wilkin did pull out of this year's Olympia. You can watch the full video on his Instagram. I will put the link in the description below. But the main cause, Brett has lost a lot of weight over the past few weeks. He said it's been very hard for him to keep food down. And also his physique just isn't really responding to the training either. And Brett said he felt like his body was pretty much fighting against him this prep. So after talking to Matt and everyone else close to him, he thought it was the best idea to pull out of this year's Olympia. And if you guys don't know, Brett also had a child recently. He's a new father, and I'm pretty sure he wants to make sure his health is in check. But Brett, take time off, get better soon, and just come back when you're ready. I think Brett has a very bright future. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. Once again, apologies for the late coverage on the Legion Sports Fest, but we are less than four weeks out from the Mr. Olympia and content is about to get very exciting. If you haven't done so already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Goat Fitness, and that's it. I'm out.